Hi guys, I've been meaning to do this for ages, so I'm just going to do a quickie on my phone kind of video and upload it from my phone. Um, I've always put rigs together and shown overclocked 24-7 sort of BIOS settings, and I have not yet done it for the 10900K on the Apex 12. <clears throat> so that's the hardware, and it's running um, uh, G-Skill Royals, although I've taken the ugly heat spreaders off and put some copper heat. Uh, EK heat ones on, uh, 4600 C18 B-Die, um, and I love to tweak a nice little crisp daily and, and whatnot, and that's where this one's at, currently at, at, I mean you could do a multitude of different combinations, but I'm running a high frequency C18 uh, with some tightened uh, subs and stuff like that, so anyway I'll get to it, I'll just show as you know all the, all the screens, uh, so that um, you don't question as to whether you're doing something wrong in a screen, I don't show you, so um, yep, I chose XMP1 here, they have more control over the memory timings there. Simple cause at 5.3. Uh, my SP prediction down here is that it's only a 67 chip. Uh, cooler at 163, it currently mm chiller at 17 degrees and I've had it at a higher cooler score before when I've just been on normal water. Strange. Uh, and that's its prediction down there. I'm on uh, LLC 7. Uh, it's worth noting that because uh, they say that LLC 6 and below the prediction can be uh, more accurate and 7 and above that you can't go by. Um, and I will go back and try another 24-7 setup with uh, LLC6 because, well, on Bill Zoid's video, he was talking about uh, the transients and all that sort of stuff, so I'll have a look at that. Um, load voltage being the important one. Okay, so, uh, anyway, go back to these settings, so I don't need to dribble on too much, it's more of a reference point for you. Okay, so I'll finish off on this page first. I need a little bit of uh, voltage. I, I don't know if it's the... I might not have a what you call a good bin motherboard. Uh, I need a bit of uh, I.O. and I, I need a bit of S.A. If I, I want to go to really overclocking type stuff, you know, I'm getting 1.6 S.A. in no time. Whoops. Didn't touch anything in there, by the way, so there was nothing changed. Um, uh, that can be lower. I mean, I gave myself a bit of headroom of what I was doing and I've got temps well under control. So I can have that at 1.330 and it'll, uh, on LLC 7, go to just over 1.3 under load and that's fine. Um, temps, I don't think I... On, on the hot days in summer, I didn't have aircon here. I don't think I went above 80 then. So, um, cache 47. Uh, so I'll just start with the time control. To there. I'm not even going to tell you to do anything here because it's all going to depend on kit and combination and everything. You know. G skill, it's more likely to play nice with the Asus board probably, so there you go. I thought. Um, I'll show the rest of these timings. I don't know if I've changed anything down here much. Oh yeah, TXP and PPD. I think that's it for there. Um, I am not playing with RTLs and IOLs for a daily like that, like this. Uh, no offset being used. Um, so I'm trying to do two things at once for you. I do have RTL and turnaround uh, enabled. What have I done that? I'm done. There you go. Round trip latency and turnaround. Timing training, I've got those enabled, and if I have a, where is it, centering voltage? No, there's a centering voltage on there, I need for, so, to uh, command rate one to make sure that's gonna be more, uh, more right, I'll come back and check that afterwards anyway, there's a sitting there, but that's working as it is fine at the moment. Uh, DRM, 
Yeah, I haven't done the full red voltage caps. Um, touch that? No. This board works fine with all that. Changed a couple of settings and sets it to extreme anyway. Uh, no, did I turn them off? No, I didn't turn them off either. Did bugger all in here as well. The board does control itself pretty well. Oops. So, if you're going to try and, you can, you know, obviously go into CPU you can limit and limit the cores and stuff like that. I'm not in here. Idiot. Go in here and do all that sort of stuff if you want. Um, now I'm just uh, carrying on for no need because you don't need to see anything else that's in here. It's just my CSM settings and all that sort of stuff. So, anyway, there's a reference point for you for 5.3 daily. 4.7 cache, 4600 on the memory is uh, C18. Um, that helps you work around any issues or get to where you want to go. Um, I would say to you that the CPU is probably doing some pretty good clocks for that voltage, um, especially saying it's 67. I've seen better. Um, I've, I've, I've run one that did uh, the temperature of the water was only about 9, so the efficiency would be a little bit improved, but it was uh, 5.5 for uh, oh, 1.4 volts or something. Right, it was fantastic. And under, under one point four, one point three seven five, uh, three four parts. So yeah, it's not the best, but it's a pretty good chip. So if you've if you've got one that's not matching up to it, don't be too hard on yourself. Maybe fifty percent of it might not, you know. So, anyway, uh, oh, good. I buy us. I buy the BIOS on that. Um, I'm not using. Um, I am using a, a U code BIOS, not a no U code BIOS. So it's not modern to take the patches out, which you would need if you want to really do some overclocking the memory, 32 or so buy or anything. Um, but, uh, 2004. Alright. Uh, ciao for now. Oh, you do the subby thing and the likey thing and you get all that sort of stuff just to say hi, oh, you know. Come on. Go on.